In this video, I'm going to show you how to add an extra battery to your Cityscape 2.0 electric bike. Now, this battery is easily connected with all plug and play harnesses. A link to the products is above and also in the description. This battery adds about 15 to 20 extra miles of range. You can also source a larger 15 amp hour battery, which will give you 20 to 25 miles of extra range. Now, it doesn't increase your speed, but allows you to maintain the higher speeds for longer as you have this extra battery. I also added this optional switch so it allows me to toggle between the extra battery and the factory battery. So without further ado, let's get started on this install. Here are the components that you're going to need to add the extra battery. This is the extra battery that's in a soft side case. This is the 10 amp hour version of the battery. They make a 15 amp hour. It comes with its own charger. I am using this battery combiner. This is a 30 amp battery combiner. That way it gives me margin as the controller outputs 22 amps. This is an on off switch. This is optional. I do like to have the on off switch so I can toggle between the extra battery. That way I ride out on this factory battery and then when it gets down to about two bars I toggle over to the second battery and that way I know I can make it home and then you may need an extension cable depending on where you mount the battery. So first thing we're going to do is power off the bike and then remove the factory battery like this. Make sure everything is powered down. The controller is located within this battery mount. To remove the cover on the battery mount, you're gonna need a short screwdriver with a nice point, and then you can reach in here. If you don't have this type of screwdriver, you may need to remove the seat. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. All right, I got all the six screws removed, and now I'm removing this cover, and it exposes the controller. And we can see here, this is the controller. It's actually 21 amp output, like this. You can see there, 21 amp. The low voltage is 39 volts. And right here, you can see the heat shrink for the XT60 connector. I'm moving over here, I'm going to create a little slit and remove this heat shrink that keeps it kind of weatherproof. All right, I pulled back this heat shrink and you can see the XT60 connector. I'm gonna separate that. And this is my battery combiner. This is a 30 amp battery combiner. And you can see here that it's foolproof. These two male connectors are for the battery ends. And this side is the female, which connects to the controller, it's foolproof. I'm gonna zip tie it to the bottom here as there's not enough room in this controller box. You'll hardly see it here. And then I can route this cable up into the controller box as you see here. Here is the connector. And then what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna connect this. There we have it. That fits in there no problem. I'm going to go ahead and route one of these up into the battery box so I can connect the factory battery. Get this up in here. Now I'm connecting the factory battery like that. And now there's just one connection and this is for the extra battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and zip tie this to the bottom of the controller box so that it's nice and stable when I'm riding. And then I can reinstall this cover. But before I reinstall, let's make sure that we test it with the extra battery. I'm gonna add the battery here, but there's several other places that you can attach the battery. I tried to install it here, but it didn't fit but you could also install it up in the front by the water bottle holder. You just need an extension cable, but here seems pretty easy. Just gonna go ahead and tighten these Velcro straps. Now, like I said, I like to have this switch in here so i'm going to go ahead and install this switch 
That way I can isolate the extra battery, especially since this battery is 10 amp hours. The factory battery is 15, so they're different size capacities. So it benefits doing that. I want to make sure that that's toggled off so that there's no power. Before I secure all the cables and get things situated, let's make sure that the bike runs on this extra battery. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to turn on the extra battery. You can see the factory battery is not installed and I'm going to go and try to power up the screen, which you see here. And then I'm going to go to pedal assist mode five and let's see just how fast this will go. 28 and a half miles an hour or 45 kilometers, which is what the factory battery does. So I don't see any performance degradation. Now with this 10 amp hour battery and the factory battery, I should be able to at least get 40 miles of range throttle only more if I were to pedal and lower pedal assist mode. I'm going to go ahead and secure these cables and get this attached back. So it looks nice and neat. Before we take this for a test ride, let's make sure we test everything. I got the factory battery installed. The extra battery is turned off. Let's power on the bike. You can see it here. It powers on no problem. We're going to test the top speed in pedal assist mode five. It's the 28 and a half miles per hour. Now let's turn, let's take out the extra battery. If we take it out, like this and now we're going to turn on the extra battery you can see it powers up no problem and now we're going to go to pedal assist mode five and we're going to go up to 28 and a half miles per hour so everything works good now i'm going to shut this off reinstall the factory battery just for safety i'll shut this off Get that in there. I'm going to cycle on the extra battery. And now I'm running on both batteries. Both batteries are operational. You can see here, we're going to go all the way up to pedal assist mode five. And we're testing the speed 28 and a half miles per hour. Everything is good. I hope you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. On the extra battery, you can see no performance issues. Easily gets up to 28.